Hi everyone, in this video we continue the work with the Talisman wallet interface and I have connected another address to show you some additional abilities and functionalities for staking and other options. Okay, let's jump to the interface and click on the buttons that we see here. In the start window, you can see the whole balances from the all power chains. And uh, here we see uh, the balance in Kusama because we have tokens only in Kusama in this account. But if you uh, have some other cryptocurrencies in different power chains, it will be shown here. The next link, it's uh, NFTs. It will be here if you have it on account and the history of transactions. You can export it uh, as uh, the file and analyze if you want or store it uh, in the separate file. And here you, you can see some transactions uh, what we did uh, to start uh, production of this course uh, when we made the proposal because uh, initially you need to lock some cryptocurrency on your balance uh, to submit the proposal this is the first thing and after that there is uh, some processes made and we shared the some Kusama with the team and so on. There is a history of transactions. Okay, the next point that we need to discuss, it's a staking. Staking mechanism, it's a special mechanism for providing the work of the Polkadot and Kusama networks. Because you know the Bitcoin using the proof of work and the network supported by the special miners that calculating diff difficult calculations difficult formulas but here we don't need to spend uh, too much energy and uh, computations the probability that the validator will uh, earn the money and validate the block depends from the balance on its account and you can share some pool of the cryptocurrency of Kusama or DOT to support uh, one or other validators there is a lot of validators in the network okay let me show you for example uh, we have uh, account that's connected with our course address and here you can choose what currency you want to stake it can be dot it can be kusama can be azure uh, we are working in kusama network and for example here we have free unstake uh 51 kusama tokens and if i try to uh stake some kusama tokens right now the interface will show me the estimated earnings how many kusama tokens i will earn per year and uh, here's uh, the price uh, with the current course of uh, Kusama tokens. Here is the stake, but please um, keep in the mind that you can choose what pool you want to support. Basically, the Talisman wallet uh, propose you to support their own pool. Uh, and here is uh, right now total stake 1300 Kusama tokens and they have uh, 40 members 
in this state. But you can pick up the different pool. And here is uh, some pools uh, proposed. And actually there is a lot uh, of different pools that you can support. As I recognized, they're sorted by the numbers of uh, participants of in the pool and uh, the amount, total amount of tokens in the pool. Okay, uh, you can choose another one pool, swap pool, and it will be shown here with additional information and uh, actually you can check the some technical details of uh, this pool in the subscan okay uh, that's about staking the next part of the interface after staking it's a uh, transport Transport, it's uh, teleporting tokens from the Kusama network to another one part chain. Uh, I will show you special teleport transfer with the Kusama to state mine because uh, we will touch it in the next videos when we will talk about the state mine and how can be used uh, that uh, parachain in your web 2 applications okay with the state mine the Kusama token is needed to provide the work of the state mine parachain because state mine doesn't have own tokens because it's a common good parachain and you need to teleport some Kusama token to provide the work uh, inside state mine. Okay, uh, the next point is Explorer. Explorer of the decentralized applications, uh, decentralized organization, the staking mechanism, and the decentralized exchange, the some social uh, parachains, decentralized finance, NFTs, crowd loans. There is a different decentralized application to work with that functionalities of the parachain and the relay chain. Okay, uh, you can choose, uh, for example, Moonbeam that we will work later or Basilisk that will be shown in this course and you are directly going to the application for the parachains because Moonbeam and uh, Basilisk they have own parachains uh, it's not necessary decentralized applications can be without uh, separate parachain it can be made for a specific parachain or uh, special functionalities inside uh, the relay chain okay uh, there is actually a lot of applications uh, you can try check uh, and choose uh, what you're interested uh, a lot of applications of course uh, related with the cryptocurrencies with the finance and so on but here in this course, we are focusing on the technologies because the technologies, it's a, one of the important thing that lay under all the functions and the applications. Okay, uh, next point, it's a crowd loans. Crowd loans, it's a complex mechanism to include new parachains in the ecosystem of the Polkadot or Kusama. 
we can see here the active crowd loans that right now going in uh, Polkadot but also we can check the winners for example you can see the winners inside the Polkadot uh, and you can see the ended slots because when someone won the slot inside the relay chain the timeline of this slot it's uh, one year or approximately one year because the timeline of the slot measured in the blocks how many blocks should be finished before the end of the slot rent let's shift to kusama and uh, here we see some uh, parachains uh, that already ended the it was previously won the slot but right now it's ended and here we can see the winners uh, of the slots right now but just let me show you that not all the parachains shown here because we we see the number of the parachains that connected right now to subscan it's bigger than shown here i don't know what's a reason of what pictures or what parachains shown here but just keep in the mind that uh, the full list you can find here in the subscan because the subscan it's a one of the main mechanism to check the transactions to see what's happening inside the power chain and the relay chain and what transactions made and so on okay uh, one more option to buy some crypto and the talisman wallet will send you to the talisman exchange but there is actually a lot of uh, centralized exchange and the decentralized exchange that we will work later the last options uh, it's a page with your account and that's mainly all the functions and the button inside the interface of the talisman wallet also you can check the twitter discord and the documentation for the talisman wallet they also showing not only the wallet but also the talisman portal and they call it paraverse of course talisman it's not only a wallet it's a big ecosystem of the different projects that you can find here in the documentation and my personal advice to you please try to check the documents of the different project that you use in your work with the cryptocurrency and not only in the everyday life try to dive in the technology because it gives you new knowledges and it's very good approach